What is up guys? We are in Los Angeles for the eBay Motors Mod Garage and I'm going to be helping my friend Demi modify her S2000. Get in here, girl. What's up, y'all? We are so excited. This car is about to get a complete makeover and yep. Colette's gonna make it awesome. Let's yes. do it. So Demi and I have been wanting to do something together for a very, very long time and it is finally happening and I couldn't be more freaking stoked. Also, I've never even been inside an S2000 before and this car has always seemed super cool. Decided to build it, get my hands dirty. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff over the next two days. We have 48 hours to completely transform this car. And one of the first things we're going to be starting with is sound. We're doing exhaust and we're doing an intake. <laughs> intake that we're going to be putting on her car and this should make it not only sound even better than it does with the exhaust on it but give us some more power gain as well <laughs> That's a yucky filter right there. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy how far back this engine is. Ooh, you can really wow. tell when the air box is out. Yeah, I never, well, one, I've never like even been around S2000s, but I never knew, like you said, how far back it was. And now it's way more obvious. Yeah, it's like completely behind the front wheels. It's actually technically a mid-engine car. Yeah, we need to steal that really? piece from yeah. Jack. Are you zoomed in on my face right now? Yep. <laughs> I felt it, I felt the zoom. <laughs> Basically everything that we're doing, we're just figuring it out as we go along and we start taking the old intake out, ready for the new one, and we find a template, which means we might need to do some cutting. We're so excited. Randy is so stoked about cutting into the car. He's just throwing shit. He's ready. <laughs> Demi, we gotta cut your car up. We gotta cut it up. I'm sorry. With the intake. modifications and we have a bunch of carbon fiber for this girl she really all the carbon fiber all of it we got all of it for her so we're doing a hood a lip and i think we just added a trunk as well all the carbon and idea swap because we were gonna do a pearl white wrap but we decided we're gonna go a little crazier so you'll see yeah we don't only have carbon we have a whole color change wrap and new wheels that we will get to very very soon but first carbon fiber His hood was unfortunately a little warped, womp womp, so. I'm Stop. not gonna get Stop. jealous over here and just, I'm just gonna it's, ignore it's not that. that great. <laughs> <laughs> 
Carbon Fiber Hood is officially on the S2000. It's the first of three carbon fiber bits, and honestly, it might end up being one of my favorite upgrades, especially visually. I mean, look at this thing. It looks so mean already. Like, we haven't even done anything else, and it has a way more aggressive look to it. This is very similar to the carbon hood that I have on my RX-8 as well. It's gonna keep chugging along with more carbon fiber stuff, and at the same time, along the transformation visually, we're gonna get started on wrap. So we have the guys from Wrap Legends here with us, and they're gonna start the wrap transformation as we finish up some other stuff. Audible we pulled with the pearl white to this uh, pearl, what is it? Bam Urban bamboo. Urban bamboo. Yes. So nice. <laughs> some BC Racing coilovers. They are the BR Series 4 and S2000. Now, I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward and easy. Everything so far on this car has honestly been way easier than I was expecting because of its low mileage. It only has, what, like 60,000 miles on it? So it is just- 70, 70, right? 72 to be exact. It is just beautiful. There hasn't really been any rust, nothing's been seized on, and hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. So yeah, <laughs> stick these on. <laughs> be the most perfect first mod that I've ever done. With Colette, obviously she's a little magic genius. Yeah, I didn't know this, but this is Demi's first modded car. Her first that time- That I'm working on. Yeah, it's gonna be the first one that you're building. I have building. so much more pride in this. And yeah, she's right. Everything is coming off way too good, so. Knock on wood, today's a great day. You're gonna learn how to put on some And guys, it's blue since you've seen it last. Oh yeah, have they? Actually, Urban Bamboo, to be specific. You know, Urban Bamboo, I don't know, it's a cool name. You got B-roll of the wraps. Yeah, B-roll, but they haven't seen it in this form it's yet. With us, done haven't now. seen it with this awesome. Yes, yeah, the Nose Attack sent over some Urban Bamboo wrap. I didn't even know this was a color they offered, and it's super cool. It has this nice, like, gold curl to it. And now we're gonna get it looking and stanced out way better with some cool. Oh, it's in. What do you use to get back here? Oh, you just uh, moved the whole assembly. Yeah, just moved it. Got it out of the way, Wi Fi with it. Oh, you did move it? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. There you go, like. BC Racing coilovers are officially on the car, and now Randy here is helping us figure Wait. out ride height. We have not put the car on the ground officially yet. Hopefully, this doesn't take too many tries. I feel like Randy's got it. He's just, Randy, you got it. He's got it. I got it. Now we're gonna see what it actually looks like on the <laughs> ground. And since we're adjusting ride height, that means we have our new wheels on the car. So big shout out and thank you to Heritage Wheels for hooking Demi up with the coolest custom three-piece wheels. We got bronze on bronze on bronze, and they're specifically made for S2000 stock body. However, we do have some really dope Yokohama tires on here, but with a really tall sidewall, so we might need to do some fender rolling. We don't know. We're gonna find out. Wheels are on. Front's really high. Rear's really low. We gotta adjust it a little bit. And we might have to have these fenders rolled because she was rubbing on the way out of the garage. Color combo looks real good. thing ready to go and do the next, but we're about to do that. We got the rear fender dialed in and we're gonna go rip some donuts. Right Demi? Donut time. Yo, check out the carbon trunk. What a big difference. Look at it from the front. Now the carbon fiber flows all the way through. So good. And 
in. They got the lip on there now. Looking incredible. So we're gonna warm it up a little bit. We ended up putting the stock wheels back on temporarily because we're gonna do some filming and get some shots with it. We don't wanna at least destroy the Yokohama tires yet. Okay, we're gonna save the destroying those for later on. So throw on the stocky boys. And these really, I don't know if you can tell from the video, it makes the worst high pitch screeching can noise. Can you? Yeah, oh yeah. It's deafening. It's fine though. We, we're about to get rid of these. We're just gonna send them out on a, on a good note. <laughs> What are you doing in the front? So for the S2000s, you have to roll the front and you will have to shave the backs. But to you're get not the most actually clearance. you're not actually using any equipment. You're like hand rolling. I, the front. I do it my way. So I have a certain way okay. to do it. So well thank you for coming by. Uh, we we had a fitment emergency. <laughs> so we had to pull some strings to get Mr. Sexy in the building to complete this in only a few more hours. So I feel like you did one whole side in less than half an hour. Yeah, it usually takes me around like 30 minutes to do one side. I've been doing this for a long time, so. Well, thank you. Yeah. We're almost done. <laughs> They do both look good. Depends on just how safe you want to go, you know? So originally, Demi had picked out a pearl white wrap by Nose Attack, and that's why we had the pink seats ready to go. So Literally it was gonna look good the with nails. the white. I know. This color right here. And then pulled an audible last minute, switched it to the teal gold, which is absolutely incredible. So then we have the black seats because we thought that would look better, but we're just we're just double checking. We thought the pink would look worse than the blue that it does, so now we're like in a really good conundrum because they both look great. Regardless of which color she picks, I wanted to make this install as easy as possible. So I found some awesome brackets that are meant for an S2000 that have the seat rails built in. I didn't want to just mess around with sliders today. And these are sick. They literally just go straight into the car, rails built in, and you slap your seat on there. This is a seat install that I don't mind. <laughs> Demi and myself, yeah, we sit way far actually. forward, so <laughs> you didn't actually appreciate the sparkle back. Yeah, earlier you were like, oh, you're not going to see the sparkles. <laughs> I was like, yes, sis, you will. last night until 2 a.m. getting it done. We really only had 48 hours to completely build Demi's S2000. It ended up being more like a day or a day and a half because there was also a bunch of content and media stuff that we were doing, but we did the thing. We ended it with a 2 a.m. shop time and voila. It was so freaking worth it. Demi, get over here. 
It definitely was not two days. It was not two days. Two with with literally, but just all it was the worth video. it because look at this. Yeah. We just built my Dream S2000 in a day and some change. And this is your first personal mod. modified car. This is my first mod, so I know that you guys would probably love to do your first mod with Colette. So yeah, let us know. And what I loved is that I made her get in there, get her hands dirty, and learn. Because I think when you're I asked like, a lot of questions. You asked a lot of questions. And getting into cars or building cars can sometimes be intimidating. And I also feel especially for women it can be intimidating. But I made sure the entire time I'm like, look at me, anyone can do this. Except for the wrap and the fender rolling. Yes. I would say everything that we did, literally, you can do so easily. I've never touched they thought, an S2000 before. They thought Colette was going to do the wrap. <laughs> no. No. Uh, they, I was Not trying us. to. I was trying we to get talk sucked them into out that. of trying to get us into that. I said never, never. Mm -hmm. I don't have the patience for it. But this entire time, I just wanted to reiterate that like. Anyone can do this. You can lift it up on a YouTube video and like it's not that hard. You just like get started and figure it out. I feel like most of car building is just figuring it out as you go along. We did get very lucky because Demi had a really, really nice 70,000 mile S2000 that was really well taken care of. So we didn't have any nightmare situations with stuff being super rusty or seized on there. But for your first modified car, you did so good. It was so fun. And for any of you guys who want to work on an S2000, watch the vid because we probably did it. Highly recommend. Very easy car to work on. Um, and now it looks way more beautiful. And this looks way more like your car. Way more my vibes. And this has been like five years in the making, guys. Kalai and I yep. have been trying to finally get together. And I'm happy this all happened. And we got an awesome little remodel after that. So let us know, what do you want to see Demi do next? She's into racing now. She's racing in a Nitro Rally Cross on those weekends. I feel like you're more and more trying to go into the car scene and we are welcoming you with Auto open arms. all day. Now you're modifying cars. What do you want to see Demi modify next? Comment below. Let us know, we're gonna do it together. And yeah. you know your girl's about to go to Florida and drift with Colette. Yep. And we're ready. This is gonna be a drift girl now, just wait. Don't Let's run, run it. <laughs> Thank you.